What's going on everyone? Welcome to this video on the Fox Tank YouTube channel. Fox Tank has been here allegedly for years updating you with the latest tutorials. This time we'll talk about the, the iPhone and Instagram and the topic is how do you get the unread option on Instagram? You know, some people have the option to unread the messages and some people don't. So how does that work? Where lies the difference? How can you actually make sure that you have it? Of course, first of all, open up the Instagram on your iPhone, you can see this is the Fox Tech profile. You can see I can scroll through normally and stuff. However, I if I go to the um, DMs section right there, you can see right there to the direct messages, you can see that I have a couple of chats or suggestions for chats. And if I want to, you can see this is the active one which I have right here. This is what's going on. It's actually with myself. And if I swipe left on it, you can see I have the unread option, which means that if I click on it, you can see there is one more chat going on. It's unread. You have the blue dot right here. You have the blue dot right in the primary button as well. You can see the text is bold. So yeah, it literally tells me that this is a brand new message, which I didn't read so far. Now it's easy, of course, to do it in case you have the option, but in case you don't, it may be quite daunting, of course, and it's not going to work unless your account is professional. You know, there are different account types on Instagram. There is the personal creator and professional. So this is something like a creator. I believe it's a creator account because business is like a physical business. Usually actual companies have their profiles on Instagram and they choose to be business, but something like me, I'm more of a creator. But in both cases, you, you have the unread option because you technically use it or technically use Instagram professionally. On a personal level, you don't have that option. So it's up to you if you want to switch or not, but I'm going to show you how I can switch it regardless. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. So as you are on your profile, make sure that of course you go there by tapping on the icon right here, then tap on the three lines, the more button. So tap on this little thing right here, then go to the settings and privacy. Once you go in here, you have many different things to pick from. And I can see I have a professional account. So for professionals, here is creator tools and controls. So go ahead and tap on that. And at the bottom, you can see switch account type. So I can either switch to personal or business account. As I told you, I am already a creator account. So these are the only two options. When I switch it to business, I'm not sure if I want to do that because you can be see business accounts are best for retailers, local businesses, as I told you already. So I'm not going to switch to that or I can switch to personal and personal. You can see is the button is largely in red because it disables many different options, which I have right now, some analytics as well as the unread button. So it just warns me before I actually do it. So when you switch to a personal account, insights are not going to be available. Uh, you can see promotions will be permanently removed. Yeah, exactly. Your meta verified subscription will be also canceled for this account. So it's up to you to decide, but with the personal account, you don't have that option. And with this one, you do have it. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video right now. I hope you found this video useful and informative. Make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you did definitely subscribe to Fox tech. So you never miss future videos and tutorials like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.